What's up you guys, Matt aka Goose here and in this video I'm going to be reviewing these X5 T9 in-ear monitors or IEMs as I like to call them. These are absolutely sick, I think you're gonna love them, let's check it out. So first of all, to open them, there's these little pull tabs and they come off real easy on the top and bottom. Get the old box open, that pulls out. Ooh, it's looking icy. Packaging on point. We've got the two in-ear monitors here on top and then down here, there's another little pull tab. Oh, they've got the packaging down, this is sick. So I'm just gonna pull everything out of here. Wow, these are absolutely gorgeous. That is so crazy. So I have quite the history with X5. I've reviewed many of their products in the past, including the X5 U4 transmitter and receiver, which has been an absolute treat. So in addition to the IEMs, we also have this little black package here, which comes with <laughs> silica gel, of course. Comes with a little manual with all of the details and everything included, how to install them in your ear and so on. And then here is the nice little travel case for it. And in the case, you will find quite a few things. We have the handy dandy, cleaning tool. This is pretty standard. The metal tip and then it also has the brush tip. We also have a quarter inch adapter and this one's super unique. Look at that design on the end there. That's quite different than most that I've seen. And then we've got this handful of rubber tips, two different options of colors, three pairs of each color. So essentially small, medium, large in each different color. One is like a kind of like a clear with a yellow interior and the other is kind of a smoky gray with a red interior. And then in the second bag, we have small, medium, and large pairs of foam tips. And these have kind of a, a yellow tube on the inside and it's more black on the outside. So I personally love how these smoke ones with the red inside look. So I'm gonna throw these on here and you simply just slide it right on. And then last but not least in this case, we have our handy dandy cable. And then it does have a 90 degree eighth inch male to connect to audio, which is fantastic. These are pre-curled and they do have that hardened part of the wire so you can curl it around your ear easy. So simply plug the cable into the in-ears. Let's get these going. And I will note that there's a little L on this cable so you know which one goes to which. And these tips do seal really well on the ears. They actually provide up to 25 decibels of noise isolation to eliminate all those distractions. Inside these in-ears, they have dual balanced armature drivers. And what makes these unique is they actually took the industry's largest and most capable low frequency driver and paired it with a specially tuned and tweaked mid-high driver to create a responsive and detailed sound signature. Typically you hear of there being a sub driver and then like a tweeter. So you got the lows and the highs, but this is interesting, they went with a mid-high. It'll be interesting to see how these actually sound and compare. So let's actually throw these on and see how they fit. So here's my technique. I like to run the cable behind my back already and then get the, the curled cable around my ear and then I pull down my earlobe and insert the ear monitor. And then I like to pull that cable back so it curls around my ear and is nice and discreet and then rinse and repeat. Wow, they do block out a ton of sound. I'm probably talking louder right now without realizing it. They're also very comfortable. These mediums specifically fit me pretty well. Let's actually plug it in and see how these sound. So I'm gonna play some music on my phone of some songs that I know very well. Okay, holy smokes. I was not expecting this. I've got my phone volume at 40% and <laughs> that is all I want. If you're looking for IEMs that have a ton of headroom, meaning essentially the IEMs are loud themselves, so you'll never really have an issue of needing more volume. It is pumping loud. I would never blast 100% or even 80 or 90% on this, which to me tells me that these are great, powerful drivers, and I don't wanna ever be stuck in the case where I need it louder and my in-ears aren't capable to go loud enough if I have a mixer or an iPhone or whatever turned all the way up. I do think these are absolutely fantastic in-ears. I would say the biggest thing I noticed is how clear and loud those mids and highs are. So it is very clear, I think especially for vocalists and it would be great for drummers as well when you really want clarity of that high end so you can tell exactly what's going on. They definitely hold up as a professional IEM and I'm just a huge believer in having good quality gear as you're performing. I do think it makes you perform better as well. I hope this video shows you exactly what to expect with the X5 T9 and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.